Okay, here's the glass. Oh, can I grab that? Whatever you want, I don't care. Yes, yes. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk to be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. You know where I'm at. Like always, I'm back at the Goodwill Bins, the outlet store where it's a treasure hunt every single time I come. I'm about an hour late because I had work to do this morning, but oh well. Let's go inside and get some things found. Well, I think Mother Nature is back on track because it feels like a fall day today. It is cold and gloomy. It's supposed to get up to 50 today, but not in the 70s like I like. And there's no carts. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's go. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to wait for a car and it's already busier than crap in here. Busy, busy, busy. I don't see anything in these glass like I like. It's got a big old chip on it. It's neat though. Some of the bins are even missing. Yeah, figures that they brought out glass, good glass the day that I don't come. I would just assume that there was good stuff since the bins are gone. And that's about it. All right, let's go to the hard goods. They're taking away glass. Gonna bring out new glass. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully get some stuff. Okay, here's the glass. Oh, can I grab that? Whatever you want, I don't Yes, yes. You guys see that? It's a yellow sort of vase. I literally just told Alex that um, the only things that I will fight over is rubber faces and swing vases. Yes! Yes! That makes me so happy. So happy. I don't think I want that angel. I got what I wanted. This makes me happy. Oh my goodness, it's too crowded in here. What? Missy might what? Mmm, this depends. Nope. Oh, oh, no, no, Alan. It's broken. Oh, yeah, he is cute. Look at the little nannies down there. I don't need any more ornaments. <laughs> My friend got some silverware. Well, that was a pretty good glass bins. I found um this butter top dish it's marked um but i can't find the bottom unfortunately i'm gonna keep it just in case i find the bottom and i found a mexican pottery vase um alex found some pillsbury doughboy salt and peppers which i i'm gonna think about those and then these are adorable these are from japan 
And then the best thing that I'm keeping is the swung vase. I absolutely love this. This makes me so happy. Okay, back at the hard. I, um, I don't think that they've brought out a new hard good. I've asked a couple people and they say they haven't brought out any, so I'm just gonna wait for them to bring out new bins. Oh my gosh. These are the games that me and my brother would play when we were kids. The battery compartment looks good. I'm gonna stick that in there. I re these are fun. We will think about that game. That's a good movie. There's an old, old hat. Ladies hat, I'll take that. I thought I seen another one in here somewhere, but maybe, maybe I didn't. Maybe that, oh, nope, right here. Lot them up in a lot. Oh, here's another one. I'll put them in a lot. And there's another one. <sighs> so I was just sitting here thinking, I'm like, that kind of looks like it might glow. And it does very, very nicely. That is so awesome. I love, love, love swung vases. That will be staying in my collection. Maybe someday I will, you know, feel like selling my swung vases. I have sold actually a couple of them. I really have. There's like an old tablet type thing. But I don't want to. I want to keep that one. This weird guy. I think he's from the 90s. I don't know. I looked him up. He doesn't sell for a whole lot. Oh, hanky. 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 I always get the hankies when I see them. Sometimes I miss them in the bones. But when I see them, I pick them up. Here's a Valentine's box. It's not old, it's a new one. Ew, that's creepy glove. Creepy glove. Oh, what are these? Oh, those are cute. From 1993. There we go. In the bag. What in the heck is that banana? There's more of these. These are new ones. I know some of the new ones can be worth money, you know? I'm not saying just because it's new, it's not worth money. 
I am just more attracted to the vintage. I like vintage. Oh, there's a bunch of these turkey ornaments in there. There's another turkey. They're taking away hard goods. Gonna bring out new rows. Hopefully good, good vintage. All right, here they come with the new row. Everybody's going, ooh, ah, <laughs> there's nothing here. Mm. There's a woody plush if you want a woody plush. There's some ugly ass red Adidas shoes here that I do not want at all. Well, out of the new ones, I found a set of three tulip candle holders, like the brass ones, and a really cute Santa. Oh, she's in rough shape. Hey! <laughs> Yay! Shopping basket. <laughs> and, and you got a party cup. Too. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Grover. Fishy, fishy. These are the things that I have a hard time leaving behind. What is that? I know she's not worth a lot of money, but she... I like her. I don't know. Mm. I don't know if you guys would want that one. Now this I'll probably take. It's a vintage um, Mickey Mouse bank. Ah, bank. It's a vintage plastic Mickey Mouse bank. So I'll um, think about that one. Think about that. My favorite book. And the turkey, the Hawkeye. It is a slow, slow day here at the Goodwill Bin. I don't see me staying for very long today, which is fine because I have a live sale tonight. So I just, I didn't want to stay all day anyway. Just not much in these bins. Not much at all. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, just not the stuff that I want. I have him.
That's a good movie. That's a good Christmas movie. Oh, there's a bunch of them. They're in bad shape. The Wizard of Oz. Love it. These are so stinking cute, but they're like the light covers. That's what they are, light covers. All right, they just brought out new bins and everybody's digging in them. Most people have gone away already. I did find this. And I love it, and I would have picked it up, but it's all taped with electrical tape. So it's, it's got to stay behind, unfortunately. Okay, well, not the best day, but I did get some really fun things in here. Um, let's go check out and see what we weigh. Okay, guys, I had seven pounds, which makes it 12.53. I'm just going to round it up to 13. So let's just get right into the haul. Okay, guys, we made it back from the thrift store, the Goodwill bins, and I only ended up spending $13. I know, not a whole lot, but not all days can be jackpot days, even though I did get some good stuff. So for $13, I think I did pretty well. So let's get into the haul. So I picked up this little set. I thought they were so stinking cute and adorable. They have their original stickers on the bottom. Uh, star. So from Japan, really cute, cute set. So I picked those up. I picked up this little Christmas girl. I love her little hat. She's a ceramic bell. Um, but I just like her hat, how it's. And her wings are all intact. She is such a sweet angel. I picked up this vintage Santa. So cute. I think he was originally maybe an ornament. But I don't know because you don't have a thing to hang him up. So I don't know. But he's cute. Vintage Santa. This reindeer ornament. So cute. I thought it would be really cute sitting in display. Actually, I don't think it's an ornament. I think it's just to sit because it doesn't have anything to hang it either. So really cute ceramic reindeer. Um, I picked up this choken plate. It's 24 karat gold around the edge, and it's got a really cute bird on it. There's the back. So I just thought that was a cute little decorative plate. I picked up this tiny little nativity. Um, it's missing something right there, but I'm going to pair this with another nativity that's a little bit bigger um, in my live sale tonight. And then I picked up a couple little pieces of Mexican pottery. They're tiny little miniatures. I thought they were cute. So those and then this one. A really, really fun little Mexican pottery vase. Then I picked up a cheese box, a wooden cheese box. I like it, how it has the dovetailed edges on there. So in the advertising, fun little cheese box, another Mexican pottery vase, really fun with the bird on it and the flowers, nice detail, and a little butterfly, really pretty. And then my favorite, favorite thing that I picked up is this. And look. Oh, ta-da! It glows magnificently. I was super, super stoked to find this um, because I don't have a yellow one in my collection, believe it or not. I have like a, a darker peachier yellow but not a bright yellow like this so this is going to be staying in my collection of swung vases absolutely love it i don't know who made it but i it's it's really pretty it's like yellow with like kind of creamy yellow in there 
Oh, this was my favorite. So that was worth the trip right there for me. And then I found this really fun little brass vase. It's got really nice detail. These are called something, and I can't remember. I can't remember. Really cute. Then I picked up this vintage doll. She's weird looking. She's like got a plastic body. So I'm going to add her to the doll lot that I have for sale. I picked up this vintage teddy bear. He's so stinking cute and adorable. He's old. He kind of looks like an old Winnie the Pooh. But he's real, real old. So I picked him up. I picked up this Santa. Oh, I love him. Somebody made him. He's on like a light wooden, lightweight wooden block. Um, so he'll sit really cute on your shelf perfectly like that. And he's a rubber face Santa. I love him. I was so happy to find him and rescue him. Then I found this guy. Now, I think somebody made him or something. I don't know. He's different. He's like a monkey, like a wooden monkey. And he's got arms and legs and a face and a wooden body. <laughs> he's different and cool. Then I thought these were neat. I picked up a three-piece set, uh, and they're all different sizes of the brass tulip candle holders. I thought that was a fun set to find. Really cool. Actually, I think Alex found those. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> and then she found this. It would be really cool if you could find a big giant frame for it, but it's like painted on fabric, but it's really, really nicely done. Really, really beautiful details. It's a peacock. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that was a fun find. Kind of has like an older smell to it. So I think it was in an older house. And then I found Mickey Mouse, a Mickey Mouse bank with his stopper. Crazy. I never find banks with stoppers. So I was happy to pick up that bank. Um, I picked up these uh, Pillsbury Doughboy Salt and Pepper Shaker Set, brand new, in the box. I think they're from the 90s. And then these two little books I thought were so stinking cute and adorable. Very kitschy and fun. I picked up this really stinking cute, adorable music box. He spins. Very pretty. It is from Japan. It is marked on the bottom with its sticker. And the little reindeer, he spins. <laughs> he's slow. He's a slow spinner, but he does spin. And then I picked up new old stock um, Christmas books. I thought those were so cute. They're from 1993. Never been opened. I picked up a set of four vintage hats. I'm going to lot these all in one lot together in a live sale. So there's this beautiful one. So be beautiful. And it's got its original label on the inside. This one. This one does not have any label. This beautiful blue one. And it does have a label. And then another velvety, pretty navy blue one. So pretty. So I thought those would be fun to lot in a lot together. And then the last things that I picked up were these. I don't, are, I don't know if these are hankies or what they would be considered. They're like silky. So there's that one. 
that one. This one. And then these and then these are hankies. These two I know are hankies because they're fabric. So yeah, those. That is it. That is my haul, guys. All that stuff for only $13. I don't think I did too bad. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well too. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. And so if you subscribe and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. Because lately, this week, I've been having a lot of pop-up live sales. And I'm going to be having one tonight, 6 p.m. here in just a little bit. So make sure you join me. Go hit that bell button and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.